Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny from La Jenny 21 Nails. The theme for this week's collab is bugs or insects and the host is Ali from Ali's blog. This is the beautiful collage she created. Stay tuned to the end to see everybody's beautiful manicures. Let's get started. As a base, I have already applied this gorgeous Revlon nail polish called Apricot Nectar and it's from the perfumery collection that I found at Dollar Tree. And as soon as I saw the theme for this collaboration, this is the plate that came to mind. It's the Creative Shop plate number 50 and it's full of cute little insects and bugs. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp these onto my nails now. I'm going to test this Winter Mint nail polish to see if it stamps. I want to have a subtle background for the bugs. And I'll be using this clear stamper which I got from enjoyhours.com. The background is perfect because it's very light, but those chunks of glitter kind of change the manicure and it's not really what I had in mind. So I'm going to try a different polish on the other nails. This one is from L'Oreal and it's called Owl's Night. I stamped the same image on all my nails. Now we're going to make the decals using my Black Queen polish. I clean off the excess from the stamper with a piece of tape. Now that I have my little bugs, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in with this gorgeous nail polish from Revlon it's called Spun Sugar. I'm also going to try this Milani 3D Holographic Nail Polish. It's called High Tech. That looks awesome. Now we wait for them to dry. Because my little bugs have little skinny legs, I want to make sure that they transfer over to my nail. So instead of stamping directly onto my nail, I'm going to put this clear top coat to make sure I cover the entire bug. And I have to wait for it to dry. I did an extra one and I'm going to try applying it directly on my nail instead of putting the clear top coat to see what happens. Oh, it looks like it worked! Since it worked out on my thumb, I'm going to try and do it on my pinky and see what happens there. Oh, uh oh. So they're sticking up a little bit, but I can just push them down. Oh, I think this one's missing the back leg. It stayed on there, but that's fine. It's not noticeable. Let's do one more. Oh my goodness. I guess when I press them down, they got stuck to my finger. Now I wish I hadn't put the clear top coat on this one because it obviously works without worked without it. But I already did it, so I think it's dry enough. So we can peel it up. And here are our little bugs. Now I have to cut them because they're stuck together and I need one for each nail. We apply a little bit of clear coat to the area where we're going to put the decal to make sure it has something to stick to. We place it down and gently press it down. I use my nail art brush dipped in acetone to clean around the edges. And now we're ready for the final step, the clear top coat. Today I'm going to be using the Pure Ice Lock It Down Top Coat. And here's my completed manicure. I thought it would be appropriate to do the ending of this video outdoors where you find many little bugs like these crawling around. I think there's one on my leg right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun creating this one. I love trying out unique and different manicures and this is one that definitely fits that description. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'll have links to everybody's channel in the description box of this video.